and welcome back to DXV today. Joining us in the studio, we now have Saha Rasti, who is the first Emirati female ship captain. Saha, thank you so much for joining us in the studio. Likewise, thank you so much. For so us. can you tell me a little bit about your journey into becoming a ship captain? If we're going to talk about my journey, let's talk about myself first. I'm a mother of three. Um, she just want to find herself. She wants to know who she is. Okay, raising the kids, it's another job. She wants to find another job that she wants to, to believe in herself, that there is something, I have a talent, but I don't know what is it, I need to figure out. So I spoke to the family that I need to work, where we came in a family that in the tradition that they know, you need to raise your kids after you finish university, you don't need to work, go and raise your kids. And honestly, I'm the one of, from the family, from my sister, that doesn't continue her studies because I get married here. So that time I said, I want to work. They said, okay, you can do it, but you need to manage the time between your family and your work. So they told me that you need to join as a UAE Emirati uh, one year to figure every department what is working in the port. So, Early that time, I remember I, I noticed one of the department that there's no ladies. So I asked myself, why? They said, no, it's a tough work. So I, I'm, I'm a person who likes to challenges and to be in some, something rare. And I always believe that I'm going to be first, but I don't know what is it. So I kept telling them I need to join this department. They said, no, you're not. The rejection, 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 that's make me to keep going there. I would say, that makes you even more hungry. I love that. Um, I came to that department. I sat with the, the manager and he gave me an orientation. He told me about the department. Then I said, I want to join. He said, no. That words, the no, makes me that much tough that no, I want to be there. And I'm going to challenge you, I'm going to be there. Six months fighting, <laughs> six months keeping going, department to department, CEO meetings. I tried to prove that I can do it. Mm -hmm. So after six months, they said, yeah, you can do. So I joined that department. It's Marine Services as an uh, navigation services. Uh, I joined there from admin assistant to coordinator. From coordinator, he said, you want to join this department for sure? I said, yes. He said, OK, be ready tomorrow at 5 AM why I need to be at 5 a.m.? He said, no, because you're going to join us. You're going to see the operation. How is it real? I said, OK, I'm ready. We went there. We sailed. And when this is my, was my first time to join and to be in uh, the boat. It was a tugboat. Uh, we operate uh, the boys in, uh, in the sea. We navigate them. We clean them. We m you know, there is a lot of job to, to work for it. Then he said, OK, at 7. 7.30 in the middle of the summer, they said, you need to come down. I said, OK, I was in the bridge. Mm -hmm. I was happy that I'm going to be a captain. I'm going to join only with the captain, nothing to do. He gave me a scrapper. He said, go on, you need oh, to wow. clean the boys. When you talk at the boys, the boys is a light who navigate the ship to be mm -hmm. on the port. I said, you want me to clean and scrap it? He said, yes. How are you going to be a captain? Or how are you going to join this department? I said, but I am only coordinator. Why well, I need to clean? He said, this is your job. Wow. So right from the bottom exactly. to the from top. Exactly, from the team. You think that you're going you're gonna to climb so fast? I said, yes, I thought that. <laughs> it took me th three hours and a half in the middle of the summer to scrap it. And after to scrap it and clean it, he said, you need to go and paint it. And you know, I, I don't like the height. <laughs> And I said, no, I cannot do it. He said, OK, so you fail. Tomorrow you go back to your other department. Six months another, he kept making me every day the same job. Wow. Three, a 12 hours shift, and then I have to go back home. After a year, I graduated as uh, first who have an Ayala certificate in the Middle East, and then Second year, they said, you want to join uh, to be in a uh, captain program? I said, yes. So mm. that's how it goes. Incredible. Captain Sahar, did you say that? 
<تصفيق> يعني انت دخلتي الكارير او يو انتد انت ذا كارير 2015 رايت ذس از وير جاست فيو ييرز بيفور اي ريتاير فروم ذا جفرمنت سو اي ستارتد ماي كارير بيجينينغ اوف ذا 90s I'm curious, really, if you if you find similar challenges because we are from different eras, I guess. So, yes. what kind of challenges you have being a woman in a very sensitive uh, job like it's yours? A like it's, yours? A, it's a male dominate. It's a okay. male dominate. It's not easy for a man to accept a woman to be there. Blood uh, said it's not because they don't want us to be there. Uh, sometimes I feel that they are worried about us, and you know, it's take a lot of time, energy. Uh, being in the sea and mm. being a long time away from your family you, uh, at that time there is the internet is not that much uh, most of the time I have to be there I, I don't know what's gonna happen if I'm in the middle of the sea that family I cannot mm. get back yeah. so the challenge was a lot yeah. uh, but now I was the first Emirati captain but in uh, 2022 I notice now more than 70 students they're joining. So I feel so lucky that I inspire the others to be there. Uh, shipping is really a huge, a huge uh, sector. So we need to be there as women to help there. Mm. Definitely. Yes. Captain Sahar, thank you so much for being on the show. Your story you. is such an inspiration, I'm sure, to so many young girls across the UAE and the MENA region. Thank you so much for being here thank with us. Thank you so much. Now thank we you. are moving on to our spotlight. It's about a recruitment platform which is connecting job seekers to the right talent, amplifying the opportunities and the education that goes with it. Check out the spotlight. My name is Mazen Omer. I'm the uh, CEO and co-founder of Edupployment uh, Portals. We are a online recruiting platform that is reimagining the ecosystem of workforce recruitment. At Edupployment, we're looking to reimagine the ecosystem for workforce recruitment or blue collar uh, workers. Uh, to help make it more convenient for the candidates to connect with the employers directly and uh, remove uh, any of the uh, inconveniences or opportunities for people to take advantage of them within that process. So we're very proud of the fact that, you know, uh, given the uh, strength of the platform, we have been able to help employers uh, and candidates uh, get hired or hire fill vacancies within less than 23 hours of uh, posting a job if that's for a local hire, and within seven days if it's uh, somebody that's being employed from uh, abroad, which is quite significant uh, achievement given our uh, AI matching technologies that we leverage. A number of challenges, we're a global platform by definition, so you know, uh, understanding how to deal with uh, job seekers and employers in different countries, different cultures, different languages. Uh, we've had to do a lot of work on localizing our platform uh, for those languages, um, as well as you know, uh, with any tech uh, startup, there's a multitude of uh, technical challenges, and as well as as a startup, you're always uh, seeking funding, so that's always been uh, a bit of a challenge. Being a uh, social impact uh, driven uh, startup uh, and tech business, uh, our long term vision is to help uplift over 7.6 million candidates and their families uh, out of poverty by helping them finding better work with employers that are committed to the concept of fair work. Mazen Omer there with Edupployment. As if there weren't enough opportunities in the UAE, he's making it his mission to make sure there's even more. We've got lots coming up on the show, but what have we got up specifically? Well, Ash went down to the World Green Energy Summit to find out how we can commit to using clean energy. Also staying in the theme with the celebrations around the country, this 52nd Union Day, We'll be chatting to a member of the organizing committee to find out what is happening around the country for the next three days. And also, we have got the Emirati performer who opened up for Maroon 5 in the studio with us. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> 